That's yes, not sir. what you did. No, sir. I mean, this is so much easier to miss than this is. You, you clearly had an enthusiasm for war. You, you believed in what you were doing. I have brought up extremely patriotic. So if my country is going to go to war, whether I believe in the politics behind it or not, I definitely want to be there. And it's not to, to bloodlust. It's to make sure that I can protect anyone that's out there. I, I hate seeing the little tickers on the bottom of the television screen saying, you know, three more died today. I feel like I should be out there doing my part as long as I'm a willing, able body person. Did you ever have any sense of uh, remorse or any lingering feelings about taking a life? No. Every person I killed, I have a clear conscience of because they were actively trying to harm Americans, the allies, or the civilians. He is haunted more by the saves he didn't make than the kills he did. When you're out there overwatching and then one of your guys or even one of the troops that you're entrusted with goes down, you feel like a failure. I mean, you didn't do your job good enough to provide that. Uh, Fell on your back. And a bullet comes crashing through. Yes, sir. And everybody in the room thought you were hit? Yes, sir. They all thought I was dead. Calling your name? Yes, sir. Well, they just said, oh, Chris is dead. I definitely felt God was protecting me. I had a guardian angel out. Particularly while remembering his 2006 deployment, when two close friends were shot in front of him within a few hours. SEALs, for the longest time, weren't getting killed. So it kind of, you have this own sense of, Superhuman seals just don't get hurt. And then when my buddy started dying, then yeah, it takes a big toll on you. Was there a, was there also a sense of personal invincibility that it can't happen to me? Yes, sir. I definitely felt that way until my last deployment when I I took two rounds within two minutes and thought, okay, this is where it all ends. One hit your vest. One hit me across top of the head, and the other one in the back. And I thought I was gonna be my last stand.